guys, um, so since Halloween's coming up, I thought I'd do a little book review on um, a trilogy that I read that I think if you, you know, when you're looking for a something to read for, you know, October, uh, this would probably be a good little one to read. Um, it's actually three books, but I, I kind of thought about doing three different videos, but honestly, I don't have enough thoughts on all three of the books to warrant separate videos, so I'm just going to do the trilogy overall. Um, it's actually, it's the Hatchling, um, series, uh, by Ezekiel Boom. It's essentially a, uh, spider invasion story. Um, so, uh, the three books, they're called, uh, The Hatchling, Skitter, and then Zero Day, Day Zero, one of those two. I think that's what it's called, the last one. Um, essentially, the spiders um, up, start appearing and they start um, killing humanity and, you know, continuing to breed and they start, like I said, just taking over and the book essentially follows um, the world's reaction to these spiders. Um, that's kind of one of the things I like about this book because most or quite a lot of the books focus solely on this like small um, area, a town or something that's affected by this. This actually looks at the entire world and how they react to the spider invasion. And it talked uh, not just like the United States with the, the president, but also other world leaders, what they do, what normal people do. And of course there's religious, re re religious leaders that also, um, we see, um, their point of view. It's one of the other things I liked about this book. Um, it kind of has different viewpoints has viewpoint of like the world leaders, like the president of the United States, but also like military uh, members of the military who have to deal with um, the these fighters, not only the spiders, but also people's reaction to them and possibly having to do a lot of horrible shit to contain these spiders, um, also, which may uh, warrant them killing people. And then uh, we get a look at normal people and and what they're going through so we get a lot of different perspectives so though um i i think the characters were kind of boring simply because they didn't really have any art for anything like that um they were really just kind of there to react to the story without any real depth to them ironically <laughs> Spiders were the one with the most evolution <laughs> because they do evolve throughout the books and it's fascinating to see what they um, what they can do. It's also interesting to see kind of where they came from or kind of get a little history and um, get a little history there. I did enjoy the science aspect when it came to spiders. I'm always a sucker for like the science and so any book that kind of goes into the science um, I enjoy. But, yeah, I mean, overall, it's just, it was just a, uh, it was just okay for me. Um, but, like I said, I've said in other videos, I'm more character-driven um, reader, I guess. I, I enjoy characters more, um, or I enjoy the books more if I, um, I'm interested in the characters. Not necessarily have to be good or anything, but just make them interesting and complex and um, I'm more likely to enjoy a story. But if you're looking for a good book to, to read, um, maybe if you have like arachnophobia and are scared of spiders and just want a good scare, this definitely would do it. Or maybe you'll enjoy something, um, other aspects of it more than I did that will make you enjoy the books more. I would definitely encourage you to read them. Um, but yeah. Just like I said, if you're if you're looking for a good Halloween book, 
uh, Halloween books, since it is a trilogy to read, I would recommend this. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of my, my book review of, uh, or book reviews of the, the Hatchling trilogy, um, by Ezekiel Boone. Um, so yeah, if you, if you did like this video, give a like, subscribe, get notifications for all the videos I'll be doing. You guys have a nice night. Stay safe there, out there, and I'll talk to you later.